All right, Idea Harlingen first grade scholars, it is now time for science class with Mr. Garcia. All righty, scholars, today's date is Friday, April 9, 2021. Our do now is to have a piece of white paper and crayons ready. Our objective, scholars will list and draw the four stages, that's right, the four stages of the plant life cycle. Go Hornets, buzz, sting, fight. We're ready. All right, scholars, before we start drawing, let's name the four stages. Number one, seed. Say seed. Get ready. Yes, seed. During the seed stage, you plant a seed in the ground. Stage two is sprout. What word? Get ready. Yes, sprout. During the sprout stage, right there, after you've added water, the seed starts to sprout. That means the roots start coming out very little. And at the top, you'll start seeing a little bit of green from the leaf coming out of the ground. In stage three, it is called seedling. What word? Get ready. Yes, seedling. In the seedling stage, the roots start going deeper. So you'll see them start growing downward. And you'll see more green leaf popping up at the top. Stage four is called plant. What word? Get ready. Yes, plant. On the plant stage, the roots have now grown very deep down in the ground. They are as strong as possible. And you'll see a beautiful flower or even more than one flower at the top. That means it is fully grown. Those are the four stages. Read the four stages with me. Get ready. Seed. Sprout. Seedling. Plant. Great job, scholars. Alrighty, let's get to drawing. All right, scholars, we are now ready to draw. Put your paper just like this, right in front of you. Alrighty, scholars, let's put your math skills to the test. The paper in front of you looks like a rectangle. Please draw to make it look like four equal fourths or four equal quarters. Now that our shape is now in four equal parts, let's number them one through four. One, two, three, four, so that we can represent each stage of the plant life cycle. Focus on the first part where it's labeled number one. Let's put the stage. The stage is seed. S E E D. Let's continue with those math skills. Draw a circle. It doesn't have to be perfect. Look at mine. Continuing with that math, let's cut the circle in two equal parts. Cut it in half, just like this. It might look like a Pokemon ball. Okay, scholars, on the bottom half of the circle, you are going to draw a seed, just like this, using the color black. Okay, you can now color in your seed black. Now you can color in the dirt. Get the color brown and color lightly brown around the seed. Okay, scholars, let's go on to cycle number two. Write the word sprout, S, P, R, O, U, T, sprout. We're going to do the same thing for this one, scholars. Draw a circle and cut it in half so it looks like a Pokemon ball. Now we are going to start drawing the roots. On the bottom half, 
go ahead and draw two little lines with the color black. So right here, scholars, it looks like you're going to start making little pointy edges when you're drawing, just like this. Continue drawing the roots. It'll look like this. Try your best. Okay, you can color in your roots now with that color black. Okay, scholars, time to start drawing a little, a little green stem at the top. You can start with getting your green and make two little curvy lines like this. Now you can make a little curvy circle at the end. Close it up. Okay, now color in the stem. Okay, to finish this part off now, get your brown again and color the bottom half of the circle for the dirt. Now let's move to stage three. We're gonna name it Seedling. S E E D L I N G. All right, scholars, in this one, we are also going to be making a circle. Make sure you cut it in half to make it look like that Pokemon ball. On the bottom half of your circle, start drawing your roots again. Make sure they're a little bit longer than stage twos. After you've colored in your roots, now let's continue drawing our stem on the top. Get your green again. Draw those two lines. Curvy. Now you can draw two leaves at the top. Just like this. Try your best. Okay, now you can color in your leaf and your stem. Color it in green. Okay, now you can color in the dirt. Get your brown again. Color the bottom half brown. Alright scholars, now it's time for our last stage. The word is plant. P. L. A. N. T. We're going to draw a different shape now, scholars. You're going to draw a triangle that looks like it's upside down, almost like a pizza slice, just like this. Cut your triangle in half, just like this. Time to draw our roots. Look at the picture how I drew the roots. Right there, using your guide from the line that you drew straight down, draw little black squiggly lines coming out of that line. Now the roots have grown the deepest. Okay, now color in your triangle lightly with the color brown so we can know that that is the dirt. And that's the way the roots look like under the dirt. Okay, scholars, right there at the top, Above, right there where the line starts in black, you're going to get your green crayon and draw a green rectangle. Really skinny, just like that one. Time to draw the little stems on the side that are going to be the leaves. So start drawing four little lines out of the stem, just like that. Okay, now draw those four little green leaves out there. Now, Color in your stem and leaves green. Time to draw another shape. On top of the stem, give a little bit of space and draw a yellow circle. Color in that yellow circle. For this next part, you can use any color you'd like. I use the color pink. Make a little half circle around the yellow one, just like this. These are going to be the flower petals. Continue drawing those little half circles all the way around the yellow circle in the middle. Finally, you can color in your flower. The very last thing we have to do is write a title and our name. I turned my page to the side as you can see. I wrote Plant Life Cycle. Plant is P L. A N T. Life is L I F E. Cycle is C Y C L E. Then I wrote my name. Hope you enjoyed, scholars. 
Thank you for learning about the plant life cycle and its four important stages.